gentlemen, please welcome Intuit Senior Engineering Manager, Mert Chubuk Chuulu. Good morning, everybody. So how is the conference going so far? Perfect, perfect. I gotta tell you, South Conference is one of the best conferences for me because it feels very open, very real, and very engaged compared to other conferences. My name is Mert Chubuk Choldu, and I'm a senior engineering manager in Intuit. Our team is pretty much responsible for computer engineering efforts. What do we do? We uh, engineer the next generation compute platform for Intuit's uh, offerings. Our team consists of software engineers as well as system engineers. Why is that actually? Because we do integrate integration of the existing solution, like you know, software that we purchase. We enhance those software. Additionally, we actually come up from uh, we, we come up with the new products, internal products, right from ground zero. So, before we get to talk about technology and soul stack, let's talk about Intuit. Let me bring you up speed about Intuit. Intuit is known as a house of brands. What do we mean by that? Many of you might know the uh, solutions that we have, the products that we have, instead of the Intuit name. Such examples are TurboTax, our tax software. QuickBooks is our small business finance software. ProConnect is an accounting software that we, uh, that we have. Mint.com is pretty much your personal finance software. So as you can see, we have a very diverse portfolio, but they're all uh, centered around finance, financial software. We serve consumers small businesses, and self-employed. And self-employed, great example that is drivers for the you know, ride-sharing services. But it is interesting because everything, I mean, everything started at that dinner table roughly 30 years ago. Scott Cook, our founder, he was just looking at her wife. She was trying to balance a checkbook, and she was having a little bit of struggle because it was a complicated process. And he thought there has to be a better way. In 1983, Intuit has been formed. In 10 years, we went IPO. Today, we have roughly 7,900 employees, 24 locations, and $4.7 billion revenue yearly, serving 42 million customers. Our mission statement is very straightforward, powering prosperity around the world. When you think about it, it sounds very generic. It sounds humongous, but actually, when we go to work every day, when we look at everything that we're doing, they, uh, you know, every second, it serves this mission, perf uh, mission per uh, very good. Now, we're a global company. We're in 11 countries, anywhere from Canada, Australia, India, Israel, Europe, New Zealand, uh, as well as Brazil. Since you have a good understanding of our company right now, let's start talking about our hosting infrastructure. We have more than 160 uh, applications. You might be thinking this is you know, too many applications. Actually, these 160 are the, uh, are the number of applications that touches the revenue stream in one way or another. We have thousands of applications in Intuit. We're dealing with the sens sensitive financial data, your tax returns, your personal finance, your business finance. So we have to be cognizant of that when we're coming up with solutions. We have a large customer base. Statistically, 30% of you in this room is using our tax software to file your taxes. You might be looking you know, right next to you and say that, hey, I don't use TurboTax. I have news for you. Your accountant, most likely using our software. We have seasonal products. Great examples. April 14, April 15 t uh, tax deadline. Or year-end for, for the small businesses. And we have thousands of developers developing our solutions. When you think about it, it's a, it's a quite a large operation. So how do we basically serve this operation from technolog technology perspective? We have data centers around the globe, many of them. We're shrinking them, but we have many of them. Two of them are the primary ones. The first one is in Quincy, Washington. The second one is in Las Vegas. To give you some numbers, we have roughly uh, more than 30,000 virtual machines. 4,000 hypervisor nodes, 3,000 bare metal servers, and more than 20 petabytes of data. In order to manage this type of infrastructure, we divided our data center into multiple ecosystems 
that are business unit centric. So we have a segment in our data center that is responsible for tax, that, you know, another one that is responsible for small business. Inside each one of these you know, ecosystems, that's how we call them, we have blast radius for an application. Below, you know, inside these applications, we have clusters, we have compute domains, so that we can narrow down the blast radius. Like this complexity was not enough, we have a major public cloud migration effort. Our footprint is growing very rapidly in public cloud. This is a great segue to talk about South Stack and how they're helping us in Intuit. First and foremost, let's talk about our challenges, the challenges that we had before South Stack. We had a provisioning orchestration system that was unreliable. I'm not gonna even mention the success rate of the previous tool, but it was unacceptable. Additionally, upgrades were very challenging. It used to take us two weeks just to plan the upgrade, dedicated two weeks, and more than two weeks just to push the update. It is unacceptable. We were missing our SLAs because tax pretty much knocks on our door, TurboTax, and says that, hey guys, we need a couple hundred servers like in a day. We were unable to deliver those. And the previous tool set that we were, we were working with, is almost, it felt like a monolith application. We couldn't expand, we couldn't enhance. Therefore, we felt confined, limited with that, uh, with that pre uh, previous tool set. One of the functions that we basically do is execute a job across the enterprise uh, servers. Now, it was very inefficient. Certain jobs could take hours, days, and sometimes due to scheduling conflict, it, may, it could you know, go as long as a week. Why did we pick SaltStack? First, it is backed by open source community. I'm not saying this to just to say it, but this gives us an opportunity to influence this offering and contribute to this offering. And we're doing that, actually. We're contributing towards open source. On top of it, from ground up, it is designed for performance. It's designed for speed and scale. It has way less moving parts compared to other solutions, and it has a small footprint, which make, makes it easier to manage and easy to deploy. This is very important. I'm gonna take a couple seconds here, if you don't mind. Committed leadership and engineering. When we start to talk to vendors in Intuit, when they visit us, I tell this always, I say that you're gonna be experiencing one of the most challenging environments that you ever witnessed, be, you know, you ever witnessed in your professional life. And they kind of have that laugh. And I said, wait a month and we'll talk again. After a month, every single vendor that we work with says that, yes, Merck, you were right. It's a very complex architecture. We had to because we're de dealing with a very sensitive data and very important, uh, very high SLAs. So salt stack leadership was committed to you know, make this project successful from day one, as well as the engineering teams. They were with us all the time from day one. Also, the whole solution itself is a future proof. We can easily upgrade, uh, we can easily uh, enha you know, enhance and implement new features. Now, since we talked about why we did pick Salt, let's talk about how did we implement Salt Stack in Intuit and how are we using it. First and foremost, I mentioned ad hoc job execution. That means that an engineer gets in front of a console and says that I need to execute this particular command or script on thousands of servers, maybe tens of thousands of servers. And as I mentioned, from weeks, now we're able to execute jobs in less than an hour. We're using it for bare metal provisioning. So we're able to provision more than hundreds of servers, servers very immediately for our business units. We're using for automated patching. I love this one because depending on the patch and how we roll out, we have to work around you know, you know, uh, product schedule and et cetera to make sure that we do not uh, bring the systems down and cause a business outage. And it used to take sometimes more than two weeks to just roll out a, a patch. We, with SaltStack, we were able to you know, bring that down from two weeks down to hours, just during one single maintenance window across enterprise. We're using it for infrastructure validation. 
yes, we know our automation works, we know our orchestration works for provisioning systems, but before we turn the keys over to our business units, we wanna make sure that we delivered what we promised we were gonna deliver. So SoftStack is running a validation in our infrastructure right before we turn the keys over. Network and storage team is using SoftStack for troubleshooting. We were not expecting this. They came to us and they said, hey, we wanna use Salt. Can you give us an access? And right now it's one of the major tools that they're using. How are we doing this? Roughly we have 30,000 minions deployed across the enterprise. More than 30 teams, is use, uh, teams are using SaltStack, and we onboard more than 200 users to this infrastructure. So what kind of benefits did we see from this project? First, it took us six months to ro uh, ro complete this project. Again, you might be asking yourselves, you know, you know, saying that six months to roll out SaltStack is too long. Well, not truly. That six months is from the time that we inked the deal to a time that we delivered a 30,000 minion in, inside our enterprise. That means it includes training of the engineers, working on the maintenance windows to roll out minions, deploy enterprise-grade SaltStack infrastructure across multiple data centers with high resiliency and DR, and document that and turn it over to our business units with zero impact. As I mentioned in the beginning of the presentation, our team develops custom solutions from scratch, enterprise-grade solutions for Intex consumption. So SaltStack already integrated with three of those custom solutions that we developed. In addition to 14 vendor solutions like our IPAM management as well as uh, network management, et cetera. As I mentioned, we also onboarded 200 engineers. We observed more than 20, uh, absorbed more than 28,000 virtual machines, executed more than 2,000 provisioning requests, and success rate, I'm really happy to say this, is more than 97%. And actually, I have news for you. That 2%, 2% 2 of that is because of dependent uh, systems or user failures. Soft stack failures is less than a 1%, and it's usually due to glitches and et cetera that we have in the either network or storage. We decrease our provisioning duration by 90% from the time that they start documenting it to the time that they turn the key over. We're contribu contributing to the SALT open source and we finally are able to do one-click environment deployment. A deployment that basically can deploy bare metals, virtual machines, configured network, and star storage end-to-end. -end. Now what is next? As I mentioned, end-to-end -end provisioning is really important for us. We're gonna continu continue to integrate SaltStack with other infrastructure services. We're gonna make it part of our blueprinting service. Feature set-wise, containers, they're not coming. They're already here. And it's driven by our, our developers. They're asking for it. So we're looking into ways that we can leverage SaltStack to manage and orchestrate that uh, container environment. Security and compliance is huge especially in our business. With the recent announcement about SaltStack Enterprise, we're really excited to look into those features that are implemented in our infrastructure. Hybrid management. In the beginning of the <coughs> presentation, I mentioned that we're, we have a growing footprint in AWS and public cloud. And from that perspective, we're looking into ways that we can extend our man, you know, uh, manage infrastructure management to those spaces as well to provide visibility and additional orchestration. So, that being said, you heard our story about SaltStack and Intuit. I posted uh, my contact information out there. Please feel free to reach out to me if you have any questions or would like to exchange an idea. Thank you very much for your time, I appreciate it.